just in case. Alright, expand your ladder to keep going down. We can have like a side room with a manual uh, generator and stuff. Oh, your portal. What can you get? What is that on the side? Sandstone. Uh, well, I guess find the best human being and pick it. It's gonna take me a second before the stream will actually uh, clear up enough for me to. Uh, we have athletics. No snoring. Uh. You hmm. could either go athletics because they're really fast, or medicine and then have a medical person. Oh, and that one has uh, speed, uh, no strength, I mean, sorry. So either strength and speed or medicine and whatever else. Mm. Apparently, right, my Minecraft server hosts, um, veterans skills. Skills. or has a skills. veterans discount. Scale's here. <sighs> I know. Skittles. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get yourself copyrighted. You have all the skills. So actually, that's pretty cool that Lindsay can have like a super duper digger and uh, high uh, improved strength. <laughs> so you can either have another plumber and just put digging on it later. Yeah. Improved carrying too. You could give that one construction as well, that's pretty neat. And upgrade their heads as well. Don't forget about Lindsay. What you can do is you can upgrade all of their skills and then you can use that little tab right next to their hand. Construction too. Level two is for astronomy. I love the hat for science. It looks so weird. I like it. He doesn't. Oof. It looks like some sort of neural uplink or neural transmitter kind of thing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Something sci-fi that you find in a movie. Pretty quiet streaming. Uh, sorry. <laughs> ten out of ten content right there. Hmm. All right. You saw the the actual area that the lights actually provide light in, right? Yeah, you haven't wired the lights at yeah, I haven't set up the lights yet, I know. Yes. You're gonna need more than two. Oh, they don't even have power, so it doesn't even show you. Yeah, no, oh, they only go four what squares. What you can do 
What you can do is have a motion sensor in there. So as they walk into the cafe area, it provides the light. Oh yeah, and if no one's in there, it won't turn it on. To save the energy. Yeah, because there's a motion sensor. Hmm. Where's the motion sensor under? Automation. But you don't have any refined metal because you didn't set up the refinement thingy. So go to refinement. And then get your rock crusher. I just, I figured this out on my own by random. What's a rock crusher somewhere? do? I mean, crushes rock. But... It, it takes your copper and stuff and makes it into refined copper. <laughs> but you don't have any copper. Oh shoot, you're in a copper crisis. I guess he's just gonna have to bore straight to the left or right until he gets or he suffocated by down. 16 gases. You still need to go straight down for oil so you can just dig, dig, dig a tunnel. For the hyena stuff. Oh wait, there's your first vent! Go to the left, 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 left. That's a natural gas vent. Which is fuel. Yes. It's also farts. It's a fart vent. And well, no. You look, there's neutronium underneath, which means that you can't mine it. Which basically means you can't accidentally destroy it. Yeah. You can't destroy it purposely or accidentally. And go to the right. I think I saw another vent there, too. Uh, right, 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 right. Oh, no, wait, wait. You want to you make your guy really, really smart? You put one of them in there. Before, Preferably before it runs out of power. Before it runs out of power? Yeah. Does it only you can start put a guy in there and find it? Like, super, super smart. But you need oxygen. So what you need to do is you need to have a small room. So wait, make a small ditch, and with tiles all the way around it, like not at the bottom, but like in the middle. So like, um, like here? No, higher. Because they can't get to that. You need to go up. So like in the, in between. So you see that plant that's right next to your ladder? Here. No, right now. No. Other oh, plant. Right yeah, that one. Dig a small ditch there. Like this? Make it too wide. Make it too... Yeah. Make it too tall. Yeah. Dig. And now, starting from the plant, dig a 6x6. Six 6x6? Six. Six six? Yeah. Starting from the plant. From the plant, from the plant. Alright. Now put. Surround that in tile. Oh. <laughs> every time. Yes, oh, every time. God. We've established that. We need to get you, like, a pin tool or something. I have a pen tool, but I don't have my um, Wacom tablet in here. Alright, so the reason I told you to make it six is because you can make a second floor and put more stuff on it. So you're going to put on the bottom, you're going to put your oxygen stuff. And then on the top, you're going to put your battery and your manual generator. And you're going to use the copper you saved. So go to power. Actually, make a second floor. That's too tall. And put ladders. Actually, unpause your game so they'll actually start building it. Alright. Now we need a ladder. Now a manual generator. Uh, oh, that works. And then on the top layer, put two jumbo batteries. Scroll. Oh, there the and the then put an oxygen diffuser. And boom, you made yourself a basic box. And yes, carbon dioxide will, will, will get put a manual. Alright, 
Now go to base. Go to base. And get your manual airlock and put it on there. That way the oxygen doesn't escape. Manual airlock, that's a door. Remember, I told you that air and liquids can get through that, but critters cannot. Alright. Alright, so what's this little room for? This is so that they can breathe. So, like, you know how oxygen floats and carbon dioxide sinks, right? Mm hmm. You need a room for that. So I just mean, what is. Why are they down in this area? So that they can breathe, because there's so much carbon dioxide that they can't breathe. Oh, you mean in the ladder? Huh? Yeah. As they're digging, they need to be able to breathe and not have to go up and down a thousand times. It sa it's, uh, saves on wait time. Oh, make sure you're researching. It doesn't matter what. Just something. Basically, he wants you to finish the tier as fast as possible. The trees as fast as possible. Well, yeah, because then you have everything at your disposal. Yep. Right now, you're kind of mid-game. You're beginning to get mid-game, so like... You're getting there. Once you start to get oil and stuff, it becomes more late-game. You can hit late game before 100 cycles. If you do it right. And then there's very late game, which is like some shuttles and stuff. Was flying into space victory? No. There's research past that. Which allows you to get better rockets, which allows you to get more stuff. Which allows you to get the ultimate thing called a Moo Cow. It's like a special, special cow. You can prioritize that room if you want to. Now all of your duplicants are going to rush to complete it. Except Put for their maybe four ounces maybe. of oxygen before they have to run back up the ladder. Yeah. Although that's going to be a very hard working oxygen generator. Yeah. Except it's not a big room. I just mean all the carbon dioxide is going to funnel down there. Yeah, but every time they open the door, it'll push it out. Oh uh, man, it's getting hotter. Means you're getting closer. The core? Yeah. Also, uh, biomes are usually separated by uh, abyssalite. So be careful about breaking that seal. Which you technically already did. But it's abyssalite. Because as you can see, as you can see, between the two, uh, the abyssalite. Uh, is completely like immune to uh, temperature change, so it's not gonna transfer heat from one biome to another. Oh, so if you open it, though, there might be a drastic temperature change. So, like magma is covered in a bit of light. If you break that seal, two thousand de two thousand degrees Fahrenheit is coming all at you, transferring from one block to another. Oh, and also the guy who did it will probably die. Yeah. Pretty much instantly, since areas around the magma are sitting at 150 degrees. And covered in abyssalite. So, like, with the slime slick, they require a degree of, I think, 150 to 400 uh, uh, degrees to live. Or something like that. You can get slime slicks through the printing pod though. Just, they're probably gonna die. 
if you can feed them carbon dioxide enough, you can get enough oil out of it though. Before they just magically disappear. All your alerts are gone. This is a copper free world. <laughs> so, um, I would suggest streaming this again and then doing it with a more knowledgeable setup. <laughs> now all they need is algae and then they have oxygen. They can run for about three seconds. I think I'm done for the time being. Gotta go. Uh. Alright. Just ready for something else. Okay. You've made it very far. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> you did it and you didn't at the same time, I mean. You definitely made it farther than I would. <laughs> like, very far compared to me. Okay, let me show you how to set up your world properly. Set up the world. Yes, if you do it improperly, you can actually end up screwing yourself later. Kind of like you did. Like how you didn't have enough copper, you could have fixed that by having a world. Oh, okay, so just save and exit this? Yeah, save. You don't have to save as. So. Alright. I just want to make one that has a name so I know what the thing to do. Also, whenever you create a new world, your world is not lost. I thought it was deleted each time you created a world. No, I mean, like Minecraft, I'm sure it just has separate seeds for different worlds. No, it does. So go to new game. Yeah, you just have to hit load game instead of resume game. Yeah. I didn't see that button before. So you can either make it really easy or really hard by going to survive. And the ones that I usually play on are rim. So if you scroll over to the next one. Next one. Up there, so, up there, there's more than one Oh, this one? So, and you see the ones how it says slime mold, uh... This uh, one? Mold. Rhyme? Um, I usually go on the other one, the one on the left. Oceania? Because, yeah, and if you hit... Do you see how it says geoactive? Mm-hmm. More, more geysers and vents. The first one doesn't have anything special to do with it. These other ones are different, like, challenges, I guess. You can randomize it, and if you go to game settings, game settings, you can change their stress, stress, their likeliness of being disease, uh, their morale, how it, how it like affects them, and you can turn off stress reactions. That's the same button as if you hit if you hit that little randomizer right next to the coordinates. Hmm. 
Interesting. But look, survival chance slim. And this one has the term Oasis as its coordinate. Oh, it's which type there? Badlands, Volcania, Forest, Ah. Uh. Anyway, so we are calling it quits on this and going on to something else. But thank you for definitely a major crash course on the game. Yeah, that's not even every team. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure that there's plenty of stuff to do. All right. Well, that's the stream for you guys today. See you next time, and bye. Bye. See ya. Alright, so we're gonna cut here. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day and a half in the morning, whatever it is where you are. See you again real soon, and take care.